new shock terrorist attack by Russians in Nipper city. Unaccidental death of leaders of Ukrainian's Ministry of Internal Affairs. Rammstein meeting and forum in Davos is a cause of Russia's panic. Well, it's weekly news at Yakolov Twins channel. Now, every day is a day of mourning for Ukrainians. On a daily basis, Russia kills and maims the civilians with missiles. At the morning of January 14, explosions rang out in Kyiv without any air raid sirens. According to Defense Express, this missile type of uh, S-400 that hit the capital were launched from the north. And it just one, two minutes passed from launch to arrival. Those missiles fly very fast for a long distance and hit. <laughs> the greater the range, the greater the inaccuracy. Exactly these methods, this principle Russians applied in Kyiv. Unfortunately, Ukraine had no means to uh, detect and shoot down these missiles. But actually, we will be able to do that when our partners will give us patriots and sound. Among other destructions, there was a hit uh, to thermal power station. Consequences you can see at photo. Now about the scariest part. Do you remember September 11, Twins Tower, United States? The whole world recognized it as a terrorist attack. And now look at the photos at this residential building in Dnipro city, Ukraine, January 14, 2023. <laughs> Be sure, there is no difference. This is the X-22 missile, which the Russians fired at a house in Dnipro. And firstly, I should note that there is no such type of missiles in Ukraine. This missile with a warhead of 950 kilograms. This missile called an aircraft carrier killer and is designed to destroy the aircraft carrier groups at sea. Also, this missile could uh, be equipped by nuclear warhead. Its X-22 causes the greatest casualties because the missile is extremely inaccurate and has a huge deviation. Modern investigators identify the names of 44 Russian orcs involved in this rocket attack on high-rise building in Dnipro. And this is um, Oleg Timoshin. Exactly his regiment stuck the house uh, in Dnipro and uh, a shopping center in Kremenchuk in June last year, 2022. Таким вот, как положено. Приятно, не буду скрывать, приятно, но гораздо приятнее было бы увидеть разнесенный в хлам какой-нибудь Днепровский мост. Даже если, даже если в этот дом попала наша ракета, для, вот лично для меня это не меняет вообще ничего. Но посмотрите на фотографии Мариуполя, вот что будет с Харьковом. Да, будет. И с Днепропетровском это будет, и с Киевом это будет. And... It maybe seems insane for civilized people, by, but Russians on uh, their TV shows directly declare that they are pleased to see this heat in residential buildings and they are happy about civilian deaths. The search and rescue operations lasted more than three days. 46 people died, including children. More than 80 people were injured. More than 14 of them children. And about 25 people are still wounded. <laughs> Look, there are children who died due to this missile attack by Russian. This old man on his mobile screen shows a photo of his grandson, who was killed by this Russian missile. And this is not the whole list. Another terrible tragedy occurred this week at the Brovary, Kyiv region, on January 18. The helicopter, intended for the needs of state emergency service, got fired and fell down on a kindergarten. 19 people died. Nine of them were on board of this helicopter. 
including Monastirsky, the head of Ukrainian's Ministry of Internal Affairs. Yenin, his first deputy. Lubkovich, state secretary. Tatyana, Monastirsky assistant. Pavlushko, the head of the Minister's Security and crew and a photographer. The leaders of the Ministry of Internal Affairs flew on the one of the hot spots in combat zone. Unfortunately, due to this crash, some civilians died, including mother with her child. Many people and children were hospitalized. In Ukraine, a special group will be created to investigate the circumstance of this helicopter crash and robbery. But we are all sure it wasn't an accident. The Ministry of Defense of Belarus announced at the beginning of some joint activity with Russia. In Belarus, the joint flight and tactical exercises of the aviation units of the armed forces of Belarus and Russia has started. They will practice amphibious landing and border patrolling. Also, Russia are preparing for a new wave of mobilization, and they actually officially announced an increase in the number of the Russian army to 1.5 million troops during 2023-2026. <laughs> but, but I'm really sure that it's useless and it won't help them. On January 18, while International Economic Forum was taking place in Davos without Russia, the banker creature Putin on Russia made a very important statement about the war in Ukraine. But actually, he has usually lost his pills and uh, tried to, again to justify why he started this war against Ukraine. Well, while this uh, old man said about all this nonsense, in Davos, at the World Economic Forum, Olena Zelensky presented the Ukrainian peace formula and Volodymyr Zelensky clearly stated that weapons should be uh, supplied before Russia strikes. Also, he noted that NATO is our goal. During this day, United States has said uh, it is seeking to change the dynamic of Putin's planned protracted war in Ukraine with new arms shipment. The United States plans to transfer GLSDB missiles to Ukraine, uh, which can hit targets in a distance of 160 kilometers. And actually, according ex-commander of United States forces in Europe, those uh, missiles will make life very uncomfortable for Russians. <laughs> well, we'll see. Also, Estonia and United States announces the largest packages of military aid to Ukraine, and many other support from partners has also been announced. And, and we should mention uh, that this week a Rammstein meeting took place on uh, January 20, where was confirmed a new military support package for Ukraine. But, but we still need really combat fighters and long-range missiles. The European Parliament finally agreed to create a tribunal for Russia's crime of the aggression against Ukraine. And the tribunal isn't just for Putin, but also for Lukashenko. 472 deputies voted for these documents. No matter how tight Russia tries to devalue Ukraine in its propaganda, Ukraine is a very developed country, especially in the technological sphere. You have probably heard about our application DIA, where are all documents like passport, driver's license, and other some licenses and certificates, where you can vote or order these certificates and licenses, and also you can pay uh, car fines. So you don't need to carry all these documents uh, with you all the time. Well, the first in the world, Estonia, is creating the Merik application based on our DIA application. Yes. Yes, Ukraine, in 2023, shared the code and design of the application for the European Union country. MRIC is already been tested and its release is planned for the middle of this year. Well, Europe has become one step closer to the level of Ukrainians' digitalization. So, it was day 330 of the capture of Kyiv in three days by Russians. On the roof of uh, houses in Moscow and on the roof of Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation in Moscow, air defense system shells appeared. 
by the way, they're useless. Who knows why? Maybe it can be an informational trick to create the appearance of threat and justify new mobilization. Well, it was the man for last week. Glory to Ukraine, our partners, our defenders. Subscribe for more news and Yakovlev Twins channel.